And welcome back to the Outlanders show. Here we go, coming back at you with some more Madden 23 franchise season as the Tennessee Titans take on the good old Oakland Raiders. It's the first weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. And as the Raiders take over on offense, we get to see the man who has been the leader of this team for nine seasons now under center Derek Carr. In the midst of a tumultuous 2021 season, the Las Vegas Raiders really turned to their quarterback, Derek Carr, to not only drive their offense, leading to career high totals from the eighth year passer in a nearly 5,000 yard season throwing the football, but also his leadership ability. He really grabbed that team and led them to the playoffs for the second time in his career while coming out one of the toughest divisions in football. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Play action, now it's Carr. All right, rifles one and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. This one home. It's a touchdown. So a big defensive play there. Only open and drive no less as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll start on the ground with Harris. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 25 carries, 130 in the yardage department, and a touchdown, too. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. From the 27, Carr. He finds his man, Sky Moore. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. We spent a lot of time talking about what's going on on the field. How about off the field with the evaluation? And they spent a lot of time saying, we've got to get a rookie in here who has big playability. And that's exactly what we're seeing here early in his career. Drafted him in the spring. Here he is early in the fall making an impact. On first and ten, here's Carr. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They certainly thought they had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Harris running straight ahead. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. He went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, this is Harris. 
And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Now they've gotten it to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? Now Carr. And this is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders. Pat Fryermuth. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by McCann, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. They go back to Pollard on second down, and he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Seven, seven, our score after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Now it's Peterson. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablet. Touchdown! Jamar Chase, 55 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead. McCann for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. From the six. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. 
Now Jones. Now they go screen. It's complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to and that time worked well for a solid game. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They'll try and run for it. This is huge check. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The Titans had 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but that talking with them in the days leading up to this one doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room. But they do have to start winning some games. They go back to Pollard on second down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. They'll try and throw for it here. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And he's going to pick up the Titans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Throwing Jones. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for him but not too long to hit him on the quick slam. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The tackle there by Patrick Peterson. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. to throw Jones and this pass broken up and the contact well in time there and now two is down as this old brain remembers when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free and he has got it from 50 Away. That was never end up. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. 
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. Car now on first down. He's got his tight end fire youth over the middle. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now Carr. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing now is Carr. Finding Harris over the middle. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. <laughs> to throw again on second down, Carr. Finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. And he's got this down to the 35. The final shot here before half for Carr. That swung out wide to Harris. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. So we've reached halftime with a visiting Raider. But no break needed. Let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. To throw again on second down. Jones, he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now Jones, throwing on first down. Very quick throw, he's got Myers. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Well, this looks like a roughing call. Well, that flag puts him on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 
little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They go back to the ground. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the Raiders pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And just as they thought they might be able to take that across and get the lead, a big red zone turnover. I know that I am defense-centric, and I want to give them a whole lot of credit, but I just can't believe after that drive, in that position, ball security paramount, they turn the ball over. Terrible. A throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a play fake. Carr. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. And most people think of Derek Carr kind of as a guy who excels throwing the short pass, but he can dial it up when need be. Extra point by McCann, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And the Titans getting set to go. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculate it because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. The play over before it really got started thanks to Pete Warner. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second down, here's Mostert again. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Jones now on first and ten. Looking for Beasley. Got him on the slant. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Meanwhile, Jones throw here pulled in by Beasley. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. Back to throw. Jones. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. 
to throw on second and ten. Jones running the slant. That's Robert Woods. And he's brought down here just outside of the two. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he's brought down. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Jones will sneak it, and he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Mark Jones, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game, and by now we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. Not a bad day at the office there. Maybe he would like the catch number to go up a little bit, but I think most guys would say two catches, two touchdowns. Yeah, that's okay. I think if the catch number goes up, we start talking about the record books because at that pace, this type of efficiency, oh yeah, I think I'd throw it to him a little bit more often. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brandon, you know how many times... The start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense. And this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They run again with Harris. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 60 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down for him. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. What a big fourth quarter fumble recovery a moment ago. And now they are set up with a chance to take the lead. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning.
Jones on first down. Then he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones got his man. It's Woods. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Here's Jones. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. He was unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. To throw is Jones. Finding Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. As he'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now Jones. That's caught again by Schultz. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Jones. Quick slant here to Woods. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Jones. And it's caught. And the Titans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. CD, that was an all-or-nothing drive to win this football game, and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments. And how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. Tucker with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchdown. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down by four. 30 seconds to go. Their perfect strike to the season in jeopardy. Unless they can score here. As they got it first and ten. Now Carr. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Throwing his car. That's to Fryermuth. And he's going to have a first down as he's out of bounds to stop the clock with just under 20 seconds to go. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Car. He's going to let it fly. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like that. But he needs.
needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An outstanding, an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. A little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one-touchdown swing. It was a multiple-touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. So for the Titans, they're into the win column now as they move to one and...